if anti-Semitism didn't have such terrible consequences, it would just be stupid. It would just be ridiculous. Think about it. The anti-Semite says Jews are clannish. They like to stick together. Or the anti-Semite says Jews are pushy. They always want to live in neighborhoods where they're not wanted. They want to belong to clubs that don't want them. They're always trying to get into something to pass as not, not as non-Jews. Or they'll say Jews are all capitalists, Soros today, Rothschild of the previous century. Um, or they'll say Jews are communists. Communists, I mean, again, I'm, if I'm talking to you in Poland, I don't have to belabor the point. Anybody and anybody listening, I'm sure, understands that. Well, last time I checked, you can't be a capitalist and a communist at the simultaneous. You can't be clannish and stick together and have nobody let you in and be pushy and be trying to get into a um, into an into an area where you're not wanted. But consistency is, you know, uh, uh, the hobgoblin of small minds, as one writer put it. Um, so uh, they don't worry about consistency, but it, it is truly ludicrous. Look, how ludicrous, again, I'm telling you something you know well, but think about it. Adolf Hitler, um, I think we just marked the anniversary of his death. Um, in his last will and test, written the night before the day of, uh, of his uh, committing suicide, um, in it railed against the Jewish conspiracy railed against the power of the Jew. Now, this was a man who had just overseen the murder of one out of every three Jews on the face of the earth. This was a man who, for all intents and purposes, had just left Europe to use the, the Nazi phrase, Judenlein, empty of Jews. I mean, we'll go to... It is in completely empty, even Poland, you know, you, you have a, you have in Poland, you have a rebirth, you know, not, not what it was, but certainly something no one expected. But still, it, it, this, the communities in virtually every place, Jewish communities are shadows of what they once were, all because of the uh, genocide program uh, led by, in, in, inspired by Adolf Hitler. And yet here he is at the end. And what is he talking about? The power of international Jewry. It is completely crazy. 